Good morning. My name is Mark Rodericus. My family and I reside at 108 South 12th Street on the south side. I have a home on the internet at rodericus.com. There's one issue that upsets me like few others, and that's um, sort of our Civics 101, or Public Life in America, and the big um, word is democracy. It's great to see the visitors from Iraq today. I think it's wrong when one group of people make decisions for another group. It's undemocratic action and undemocratic ways are anchors around our public life. And we're being dragged into a deeper despair. As a result, I think people vote with their feet and they leave. The population decline around here is something that's um, been accelerating and good people have to resign from important positions. They just don't want a part of that, they leave. We have that here in the city with our City Business Act 47 and the ICA board, five guys named Mo. You know, they've taken matters into their own hands and it marginalizes city council, marginalizes the citizens. People see that and they depart. Nationally, we have some issues too. Thursday night this week, there's um, presidential debates. I'm upset that George Bush and John Kerry will appear and deny the other candidates who are on the ballot the opportunity to be on the stage. We have um, the two major parties decide what we need to listen to and what ideas need to be talked about. And it's wrong that candidates that are on the ballot can't get on the debate stage. Also, let's mention Ralph Nader. Um, there's um, a few small group of people that are making decisions for everyone else. Let me just give you a little background. Four years ago, I supported Nader as a Republican. I went to IUP, Johnstown, and Nick's Fat City on Get Out the Vote things all in one day speaking about Nader. But in 2003-2004, I wrote to Mr. Nader and I asked him not to run. Um, he didn't run as a Green, which I was happy to see, but he has a right to run. And when more than 50,000 signatures go on the petitions to get the candidate on the ballot, and hurdles are set up to make this a hard process, it's wrong. The candidate should be on the ballot. I don't think people should vote for him, but the Democrats are fighting to keep candidates off the ballot, and they're fighting to set the debate stage in certain ways. And as Democrats, I think you guys should be ashamed and speak up about this. I don't think anyone should vote for him, but I think he should have a right to air his complaints and, and air his positions. And we send a message that Pennsylvania is not a place where you can get there from here. So we have a feudal society where it's not democratic, it's not healthy. So I'm looking for an open, fair, just public life. I think people should be on the debate stage. I think people should be on the ballot. And I think people should vote and think about it. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Our next speaker, please.